Greetings from Gatlinburg, Tennessee. My name is Ryan. And I'm Bree. And we are at Anakista. And this is Micah. And Micah decided to hop in the shot, <laughs> so we are going to go around and check out their Lego creations. I'm genuinely excited to see the different Lego creations. Are you excited to see some Legos? Yes? Maybe you can get inspired and make something at home. So we are going to bring you around, show you all the different Lego creations. It's the tail end of summer, so it's about to change over, but we've been wanting to come up here and check it out. So we're going to walk around, show you some of the shops and things to do up at the top here of Anakista. We invite you to join us on today's adventure. Without further ado, let the adventure, adventure begin. begin. take the Rambler up to the top. So we're not a big fan of the chair lift. If you have any fear of height, this is the way to do it right here. The Rambler is wheelchair accessible. So this is another parking option here to the left is $15. So it's $5 cheaper right outside of Anakista. You can't park twenty dollars there or you could use that as an option I still say your best bet is to park across the street at the aquarium the garage there is ten dollars for the whole day you can see the space needle right over here as we work our way up the mountain and there is the skylift park across the way. There we go. There is the uh, chairlift that we are bypassing. You could also take one of these cabins on the way up or on the way down if you don't prefer the Rambler vehicle or the standard chairs. So we're gonna walk all the way through and check out what we can find. I think I saw one over here to the right, guys. I think one of the first ones is a uh, peacock. This one has 68,827 Lego bricks. It took 625 hours to build. That's a pretty long Lego build, guys. What do you think? That is pretty neat. And someone just dumped the water over there. So it is 80 to 6 degrees right now as we're on the tail end of summer. I love this eating area, this smokehouse. I'm gonna walk you over here and give you a look at what it's like when the weather is nice, as it will be here in the fall and winter time. I mean, look at the view. I love it up here. This really is one of my favorite places to just come and grab a bite to eat with the family, sit out and enjoy these views. Look at this, guys. It's gorgeous. It's a beautiful day here in the Smokies. They also have a bar over here, so if you want to grab a beverage and sit out and look out at the mountains, you can do that as well. Let's go check out another one the kids found. Apparently it's across the bridge. Oh, I see it. There's the bird bath. The bird bath is 14,000 bricks. It took 200 hours to construct. Look at that. That is really neat. I love the little squirrel hanging out on the edge there. 
All right, I think I see another one over here to the right. It says that it's 29,314 bricks and took 240 hours to make. I think the bird bath is my favorite still right now. I love that little squirrel. But this one's really neat too. Okay, let's keep working our way down, see what else we can find. This is always fantastic in the winter time to sit around the fire. As you have some restrooms here and the rail runner, which is right across from some shops we just passed. There's a shop here and another shop here. I do see some Legos in there, guys. We might have to go check those Legos out later. Got the snack shack with some donut holes, some bag chips, some drinks, and uh, you can get a margarita, domestic beer, craft beer. All right, continuing on. That little area for the kids to cool off in the warmer days. A little bit of a splash pad area here. In front of Clifftop Restaurant. And I also have a little cafe and a little store over here. Not a shortage of places to sit and relax. Oh, we found one. We found another one on this side. The Galapagos Tortoise, which is 23,317 bricks and took 290 hours to construct. Got a little bird on top of the tortoise. Again, another great fire pit to sit around in the cooler days, right out in front of this tap house with a number of different beverages you can order. We're gonna work our way over to the kids area as we're looking for any more Lego creations. We're passing the Ridge Rambler loading area, which is where we first got on here. We're gonna head over to the Vista Gardens. I love the little paint brushes there. And I think I see some more Lego creations. I see a whole bunch over here to the right. The wheelbarrow, 29,900 bricks and took 205 hours to complete. China was the country where the wheelbarrow was first invented. Here's the gardening granddaughter here. This one is 11,000 bricks and took 202 hours to complete. Got a big uh, thing of paint here on the ground and another one as part of the summer in the Smokies that's about to end here. You also have the gardening grandfather, which he is 35,000 bricks, 334 hours to make the gardening grandfather. So let's keep working our way down and see what else we can spot. Have a little gem mine over here, some picnic tables and a little walkway up to the Vista Gardens. I think we should uh, head up here and see what we can find. Oh, I see a butterfly. We'll have to go back down and see that one from below. But let's walk up to the top of that tower is where we are gonna head and see if we can spot any more Lego creations on the way. Walk through the Bear Venture. Great little area here for kids to walk along of all ages. But if I try to hold the camera and walk on that, it could be disastrous. So we're just gonna walk along this time. As we come to the kids area. You wanna go on with me, Micah? Sure. All right, want me to follow you? Oh, okay, you're, I'm, I'm the guinea pig, huh? Oh boy. All right, I'm one-handing it. One-handed, almost there. These things are a lot harder than it looks with one hand almost there yes made it well i have to go see what's up top here well this is awesome and it even has some free ketchup packets waiting for us <laughs> this is totally cool i love these little lookout holes over here 
this is awesome and it's not made for six foot one people oh yeah here they come you got it micah can she do it and she i can't i'm going back all right go back <laughs> she made it this is super cool i love these little lookouts they have here Oh, there goes mom. All right, I'm gonna go join them and head out that way. And the girls went down the slide and we are gonna try to work our way down this way. Oh, there's Hannah right below us. Whoa, this thing swings a little more <laughs> than I anticipated. All right, I'm going to turn the camera off so I can use both hands because this one's a little more tough. You got it, Mama. <laughs> You're going to need to edit this. <laughs> no, this is making the final cut. There you go. Oh, At least there's something to hold on to. <laughs> I'm too old to be a You got it, Mama. Oh, is that another little tower to climb up to? Look, I did it. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. So you can get to this little tower here. That is a pretty tight little climbing area, but this is a really neat little area if you're able to get up this little thing. It's pretty tight to get around that little corner, but uh, man, I love the views. I'm getting a workout. I think I can definitely get a dessert tonight. Definitely burning some calories. We lost mom. Oh, there they are. They're uh, sitting over there, so let's go join them. All right, this one's probably the easiest one we've done so far. You found a Lego? Yes. Where? Over there. To the right? Oh, is it a dragonfly? Wow, look at this one. Yeah, it's a dragonfly. This one is 27 thousand bricks 515 hours i think the longest one is still the peacock but that would take quite a while to build that is pretty amazing <laughs> that is a big dragonfly very cool fly we're going to bring you up to the top of that tower here in just a moment if you guys are new here and you haven't yet subscribed Feel free to hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you on our adventures here in the Great Smoky Mountains and beyond. You've got this classic photo spot here at Anakista. See some more Legos over here. And again, another great classic photo spot over here. Let's check out you got a buck over here. This buck is 46,000 bricks and took 215 hours to build. Oh, then look at this one of the fawn and the doe. That is 37,000 bricks, 327 hours to complete. Fawns don't have a detectable smell to predators, is what the sign says. Is this one your favorite so far? This or the, fa the um, bird bath. I really like the bird bath. Yeah, the bird bath is really cool. I love the little squirrel. Mm -hmm. Some uh, flowers, but we're going to work our way up to the tower. We work our way through here. Some misters. Oh, this is cool in here. We're at the Vista Plaza. And they have a little shop here to the left. The watering can, sacks, snacks, sips, and shopping. With another fireplace area to sit around. Oh, I see another Lego creation. The hummingbird feeding from a trumpet flower. This is 61,000 bricks and took 265 hours to complete the hummingbird with a trumpet flower. 
Did you guys know that hummingbirds are the only bird species who can fly backwards? I did not know that. Just a little fun fact for the day. Let's head up to the top. All right, up the tower we go. Every little platform is gonna get you amazing views. Look at that, beautiful. I love it. Almost there. <sighs> we made it. <gasps> <sighs> Wow, they have this little glass section that you can step onto. Feeling brave today on your show. All right, that was good. <laughs> Here's the little look at the top of the tower. <laughs> There is a look at the top of the tower. We're gonna head back down and see if we can spot any more Legos and we're working up an appetite so we'll probably go find a bite to eat somewhere. So let's head on down. Hannah and Micah are gonna do the bear venture on the way back here. Let's see if we can go find this butterfly that we missed. So the one we just went in is a newer one. This was the original when Anakisa first started. So it's kind of like a little mini treehouse village adventure. Not as uh, difficult to walk through this one, but great for little kids to come out here and enjoy the treehouse village adventure. And then you have this little photo op of the ant hill. That uh, this ant hill is 12,000 bricks, 80 hours to complete. And an ant can lift 20 times their own body weight. The book of Proverbs talks about the ant a little bit. So here is the butterfly that we saw. It's a monarch butterfly, 39,000 bricks, 425 hours to complete. A little fun fact for you. Each year, millions of monarch butterflies migrate from Canada and the United States to Southern California and Mexico, traveling more than 2,000 miles. They return to the same forest each year and some even find the same trees that their ancestors landed on. As we have some real butterflies, look at that. Oh, wow, giving us a show for you guys watching at home on YouTube. We hope you guys have enjoyed checking out all the Lego creations here at Anakista with us as you have the treetop skywalk that you can also walk out onto. We're going to go through the treetop skywalk. I love doing this at night or right around sunset. It is beautiful. So there is a maximum of eight people per section of the bridge at a time. Looks like there's nobody behind us. And I don't see anybody in front of us, so we won't have to worry about that. I don't think so. Oh, we see, I see a little bit of people we'll catch up to. Here we go. And I will tell you, that is the road we took on the way up here. The camera may not really show it, but we are up pretty high. And for me at six foot one, I kind of like to crouch a little bit on these middle sections because I feel like I like to keep my center of gravity a little bit lower. Oh, it is really cool in the shade here as we walk along the trees. Little things of information such as the different types of tree identification. The last one was talking about salamanders, that we are the salamander capital of the world here in the Great Smoky Mountains. And now, this is the part I like to get low. And don't look down, don't look down, don't look down. Look straight ahead. This is a high section. Oh yeah, this is a high section. Look straight ahead, straight ahead, almost there. 
Ah, yes, made it. Right up at the top is a really cool view of downtown Gatlinburg. <laughs> I guess there's a Ryan at the front of the pack and he's shaking it. So they keep yelling out, Ryan. <laughs> I keep thinking they're talking to me. All right, Hannah's gonna go and I'm gonna go. Ouch, that hurt. I'm gonna go backwards. Oh boy. Don't, I'm looking at the camera. I'm not looking down. Almost there, tell me I'm almost there. Oh, I'm not even close. I'm like halfway. Okay, run for it. Ah! Yes, made it. All right, this is where you're gonna get a really cool view that I was talking about earlier. Yeah, look at that. All right, let me catch up to Hannah. Now we're not so high up. So there is a look at the treetop walk tour. Again, I hope you guys have enjoyed joining us. I know some people can't get out here to the Smokies or if you could have mobility issues and wouldn't be able to come out and see what this is like. So there you go. Here's a look at the treetop tour. Oh, perfect. We're about to see the uh, uh, zip line take off. No, we're good. Thank you. Here he goes. Let's go find mom and head back down. That wraps up our trip up here to Anakista to check out some of the Lego creations before they go away. But we will definitely be back here much more the rest of this year to check out the fall colors. So if you'd like to see the change from green to browns and oranges, and all the seasonal changes up here in the Smokies. Make sure you're subscribed and let us know which of the Lego creations was your favorite. I think the favorite was still the bird bath. Bree did like the fawn and doe was nice, but the bird bath was the winner for us. That was one of our favorites. So let us know which one was your favorite in the comments. Make sure you subscribe and we'll bring you guys back up here soon. Ask us any questions about Anakista down in the comments. We'll do our very best to answer, and until next time, we'll see you on the next adventure.